What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva. Now if you don't know what Canva is, it is essentially a free version of Photoshop Online. However, Canva requires no skills. All it requires is a little bit of creativity, there's hundreds of templates you can use, and of course there is a paid version and a free version. Now the free version you can do anything with, there's really, in my opinion, no reason to pay for Canva. Now in this video I'll show you step by step actually how to use Canva, the uses of Canva itself and of course how to actually edit a template using Canva. Now they have many templates like I've mentioned, however you can also create something from scratch if you like to. So firstly you'll need to make an account on Canva which is free. You can use a Google account or you can just make one using your email and this is then what you're presented with. So you can see on screen right now, this is gonna show you different types of templates that you can use. So for example, there's posters, there's presentation, Instagram posts, logos, Instagram stories, and of course there are things for YouTube as well. So you can see like here, there's stuff for videos like the end screens. Now you can literally search for anything. So at the top here, there is search Canva. So I'll just type in car, for example, just to see what will come up. And as you can see, there are templates of cars, which is related to mainly just a poster. Now, of course, as well as all of the templates you can use, which are here on the top left, you can also just go ahead and create a design from custom. That's completely up to you. Now for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm gonna go over to a template and we're gonna use a YouTube channel art. So as you can see right here, everything is set up for you in terms of the dimensions, the layout, and where the text is actually positioned. So I'm gonna click this one over here. As you can see, it's very simple. It's gonna be on a photography, a videography channel, and all I'm gonna do is click use template. Now by all means, what you're actually seeing on screen right now, you can change anything, the text, the outline of the box and of course the background images and if you want to you can add your own things on top as well. So of course the first thing you want to change is the text so you just double click it as you can see it gets highlighted and you just type in what you want to and there may be a future channel once I make some money and of course you can highlight it you can come up to the top left and you can change the font to anything you want to so the good thing is here of course you can see the font in real time. Now, important to note, the ones with the crown, of course, is the paid version. So you wouldn't be able to use them. However, there are a ton of free ones and you can definitely work around them. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with this font. Now, the next thing, if you wanna increase it, of course, you can increase it from here. And then over to the side, you can change the color and then you can make it italic, make it straight, make it underlined. And of course here, you can make it all uppercase, which I probably will. Now, another thing I'm gonna do is just make the spacing between the letters a bit bigger. So I'm gonna come here to spacing, and as you can see, it says letter spacing, and I'm just gonna drag this up. Then, of course, if you wanna edit the text underneath, again, just double click it and type in anything you want to. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave it the exact same just because it is as if I was gonna make a channel like this. But let's say you wanna change the background. Of course, the background, you wanna be a bit more creative, or maybe you just wanna edit it. So, once you left click on the background itself, at the top here, you can see you get many different effects that you can do to the uh, actual background. Now firstly, animates, there's no point of you doing it. So this is because it's a still image. If you're making a GIF, by all means, you can animate it. So the easiest one here is the effects tab. And as you can see here, there are different types of effects you can add to the image. So you can see this one brightened it up quite a lot. So you can also just press C all here. And as you can see, you can just see every different type of effect you can get. There's complete different ones here that you can use and of course get a bit creative with. Now, just because it's come out like this doesn't mean you can't change the effect of the strength of this actual color. So if you click it again, as you can see, it comes up with intensity and you can just bring this down. Of course, the more you bring it down, the more it goes back to normal. So it's up to you how strong you want this. And once you're done, just click apply. And now that is done to your background. You've also got the filter option here, so you can see there's different types of things you can do. Maybe it's better not to use an effect and a filter, however, some cases it may work, so you can always test the theory. Next to it, you've got the adjust button. Again, this is where you can have complete control over the image, so the brightness, the contrast, saturation, tint, blur, X process, and vignette. Vignette, I may bring that up a little bit, but again, this doesn't really matter because this is the outer edges. Now, of course, once you're actually on YouTube channel, you can't see all of this outer space. 
But if you're making, for example, the desktop background, then of course Vignette will be very useful for you. And if you wanted to add a blur, as you can see, it's just adding a slight blur. We'll just give that, make that text stand out a bit more. So that's how you can obviously edit this background. What if you wanted to change it? Well, firstly, what you can do, if you don't have any other backgrounds of your own, you can first of all come over to background and you can see there's different types of backgrounds here. Or alternatively, you can come over to photos and you can use one of the photos as a background as well. Again, it's completely optional if you want to do it this way or find your own image from Google. Now for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to use a background. If for example, you have your own image from Google, then all you would need to do is head over to uploads, upload media, and you would simply drag in your image. So of course, this channel banner we're making is related to photography or videography. So all I've done is typed in here photography in the photos. Now be aware you won't be able to use all of the photos you see. The ones of course with the crown are the paid version. However, there are plenty of free ones that you can use. So I'm just gonna pick this one just so we don't take up too much time. And of course, once it's dragged on, I'm gonna spread this across like this and of course we want it to be centered now at the moment it's covered everything so we obviously need to take it back so we just right click the image and send backward you can see we now get our text appearing now of course the colors we're using here is not contrasting very well with the background so to get around that of course we can just come over to the effects we can change the background effect or of course we can change the text color so I'm going to go with something like this. I'm using the film filter as the background. And of course, I've got CS Travels, short travel films released weekly. It's now much more easier to see. Now, of course, like I said, you can add more things than you can actually already see on screen for the templates. So if you head over to elements, you've got different shapes, you've got stickers, you've got design for a course, you've got charts. There's so many different things you can use. Alternatively, if you want to add more text, of course, there's even a text file here where you can add different types of text. Then you've got audio. Again, it's not really necessary if you're just doing a still image, of course, but it depends the use. Are you gonna upload it for an Instagram story? Are you gonna put it on YouTube stories now? Uh, the community page, you've got a lot of different options. Then of course, you've got the videos here. This is where you can have a video as a background. So this is if you're creating, uh, like I said, an Instagram video or a GIF, you can obviously have a background as a video and your text on top. Then of course, once you select more, you can see there are many different things you can do within Canva, which makes it very good and very easy to use. However, once you're happy with everything, all you need to do is come over to the top right and select download. And as you can see, you can choose the file type. I recommend PNG as well. This is also what Canva is recommended. As you can see, the file size is 2560 by 1440. This is the dimensions for a YouTube channel art, so don't change that if you, of course, paid for the premium. As you can see at the bottom right, it's gonna be downloading. It doesn't take long. It's very quick and very simple. As you can see, it's downloaded and it's just gonna ask us to pay for Canva, but there's no need to. Here it is at the bottom left, I'm gonna open it up. And there you go, just like that, we have edited a channel art. So essentially what we've done, we found a template, we filtered the background, we then changed the background, we changed the text, and you can see it was very quick, it was very simple. This would take someone five minutes. Like I said at the start, you don't need to be skilled to use Canva. You just need a little bit of creativity and everything there is easy to use. Now, once you go back to the homepage after doing any design, you'll see under your designs, it will be sitting there as well. So you can always go back and edit it later on if needed. So just very quickly, what is the actual difference with Canva Pro and the free Canva? This is basically it. There's three main things that you get. So you get the premium photos, the videos, and the elements. Now, in addition to that, you get the fonts and of course the premium templates. You've also got access to a feature called Magic Resize, Background Remover, and Premium Animations. Then in addition, you get organized with a brand kit and content planner, extra folders, and 100 gigabyte of storage. Now, again, it's completely up to you. Are you gonna be using it that much? Even if I use this full-time instead of Photoshop, I don't think I would personally need to use the paid version. Of course, but if you're doing Instagram stories, if you're doing YouTube, mainly for the marketers, this will definitely be very good. And of course, you can obviously try a 30-day free trial. That's it for this video. Hopefully it has been useful for you. 
If you want to request a specific tutorial, whether it be on Canva or any other software, be sure to let me know in the comments or ask me on my social media.